Hello Year 4. Nice to see you. Hope you've had a good week and managed to, to keep busy and get lots of fun things done. Rusty's all chilled and, and relaxed and cuddled up with his teddy and his ball ready for the story. So let's get straight on and read Horrid Henry and the Injection. Here we go. Okay, here we go with our first story. Horrid Henry's Injection. Ah! 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 The horrible screams came from behind Nurse Needle's door. Horrid Henry looked at his younger brother, Perfect Peter. Perfect Peter looked at Horrid Henry. Then they both looked at their father, who stared straight ahead. Henry and Peter were in Dr. Dettel's waiting room. Moody Margaret was there. So was Sour Susan, Anxious Andrew, Jolly Josh, Weepy William, Tough Toby, Lazy Linda, Clever Claire, Rude Rolf, and just about everyone Henry knew. They were all waiting for the terrible moment when Nurse Needle would call their name. Today was the worst day in the world. Today was injection day. Horrid Henry was not afraid of spiders. He was not afraid of spooks. He was not afraid of burglars, bad dreams, squeaky doors and things that go bump in the night. Only one thing scared him. Just thinking about it, about Henry could barely even say the word injections. They made him shiver and quiver, shake and quake. Nurse Needle came into the waiting room. Henry held his breath. Please let it be someone else, he prayed. William, said Nurse Needle. Weepy William burst into tears. Let's have none of that, said Nurse Needle. She took him firmly by the arm and closed the door behind him. I don't need an injection, said Henry. I feel fine. Injections stop you getting ill, said Dad. Injections fight germs. I don't believe in germs, said Henry. I do, said Dad. I do, said Peter. Well, I don't, said Henry. Dad sighed. <gasps> You're having an injection and that's that. I don't mind injections, said Perfect Peter. I know how good they are for me. Horrid Henry pretended he was an alien who'd come from outer space to jab earthlings. How? shrieked Peter. Don't be horrid, Henry, shouted Dad. Ah! came the terrible screams from behind Nurse Needle's door. Ah, no! Then Weepy William staggered out, clutching his arms, oh, wailing. Cry, baby, said Henry. Just wait, Henry, sobbed William. Nurse Needle came into the waiting room. Henry closed his eyes. Don't pick me, don't pick me, he begged silently. Don't pick me. Susan, said Nurse Needle. Sour Susan crept into Nurse Needle's office. <coughs> Came the terrible screams. <coughs> no! Then Sour Susan dragged herself out, clutching her arm. sniveling. Oh, what a cry, baby, said Henry. Well, we all know about you, Henry, said Susan sourly. Oh, yeah, you don't know anything. Nurse Needle reappeared. Henry hid his face behind his hands. It'll be so good if it's not me, he thought. Please let it be someone else. Margaret, said Nurse Needle. <gasps> Henry relaxed. 
Hey, Margaret, did you know the needles are so big and sharp they can go right through your arm, said Henry. Moody Margaret ignored him and marched into Nurse Needle's office. Henry could hardly wait for her terrible screams. Boy, would he tease the crybaby Margaret. But silence. Then Moody Margaret swaggered into the waiting room, proudly displaying an enormous plaster on her arm. She smiled at Henry. Oh, Henry, you won't believe the needle she's using today, said Margaret. It's as long as my leg. Shut up, Margaret, said Henry. He was breathing very fast and he felt faint. Anything wrong, Mar uh, Henry? asked Margaret sweetly. No, said Henry. He scowled at her. How dare she not scream and cry? Oh, good, said Margaret. I just wanted to warn you because I've never seen such a big, fat, whopping needle in all my life. Horrid Henry steadied himself. Today would be different. He would be brave. He would be fearless. He would march into Nurse Needle's office, offer his arm and dare her to do her worst. Yes, today was the day. Brave Henry, he would be called. The boy who laughed when the needle went in. The boy who asked for a second injection. The boy who... Henry, said Nurse Needle. No, shrieked Henry. Please, please, no. Yes, said Nurse Needle. It's your turn now. Henry forgot he was brave. He forgot he was fearless. Henry forgot everyone was watching him. Henry started screaming and screeching and kicking. Ow, yelled Dad. How, yelled Perfect Peter. Ow, yelped Lazy Linda. Then everyone started screaming and screeching. I don't want an injection, shrieked horrid Henry. I don't want an injection, shrieked anxious Andrew. Oh, I don't want an injection, shrieked tough Toby. Stop it, said Nurse Needle. You need an injection, and an injection is what you will get. Him first, screamed Henry, pointing at Peter. You're such a baby, Henry, said clever Claire. That did it. No one ever called Henry a baby and lived. He kicked Claire as hard as he could, and Claire screamed. Nurse Needle and Dad each grabbed one of Henry's arms and dragged him, howling into her office. Peter followed behind, whistling softly. Henry wriggled free and dashed out. Dad nabbed him and brought him back. Nurse Needle's door was clanged shut behind him. Henry stood in the corner. He was trapped. Nurse Needle kept her distance. Nurse Needle knew Henry. Last time he'd had an injection, he'd kicked her. Dr. Dettel came in. What's the trouble, nurse? She, he, she asked. Him, said Nurse Needle. He doesn't want an injection. Dr. Dettel kept her distance. Dr. Dettel knew Henry. Last time he'd had an injection, he'd bitten her. Take a seat, Henry, said Dr. Dettel. Henry collapsed in a chair. There was no escape. What a fuss over a little thing like an injection, said Dr. Dettel. Call me if you need me, she added and left the room. Henry sat on the chair breathing hard. <laughs> he tried not to look as Nurse Needle examined her gigantic pile of syringes, but he could not stop himself peeking through his fingers. He watched as she got the injection ready, choosing the longest, sharpest, most wicked needle Henry had ever seen. 
Nurse Needle approached, weapon in hand. Him first, shrieked Henry. Perfect Peter sat down and rolled up his sleeve. I'll go first, said Peter. I don't mind. Oh, he said as he was jabbed. That was perfect, said Nurse Needle. What a good boy you are, said Dad. Perfect Peter smiled proudly. Nurse Needle rearmed herself. Horrid Henry shrank back in the chair and looked around wildly. Then Henry noticed the row of little medicine bottles lined upon the counter. Nurse Needle was filling her injections from them. Horrid Henry looked closer. The labels read, Do not give injection if a child is feverish or seems ill. Nurse Needle came closer, brandishing the injection. Henry coughed. <coughs> and closer, Henry sneezed. Achoo! And closer, Henry wheezed <coughs> and rasped <coughs> and panted. Nurse Needle lowered her arm. Are you all right, Henry? No, no, gasped Henry. I'm ill. My chest hurts, my head hurts, my throat hurts. Nurse Needle felt his sweaty forehead. Henry coughed, <coughs> a dreadful throaty cough. Can't breathe, asthma. You don't have asthma, said Dad. I do, I do. Nurse Needle felt his head. He is a little warm. I'm ill, I'm ill, whispered Henry. I feel terrible. Need to bring him back when he's feeling better, she said. All right, said Dad, thinking he'd make sure Henry's mother bought him next time. Henry wheezed and sneezed and moaned and groaned all the way home. His parents put him straight to bed. Oh, Mum, said Henry, trying to sound as weak as possible. Could you bring me some chocolate ice cream to, to help my throat really hurts? Of course, you poor boy. Henry snuggled down. This was the life. Oh, Mum, <coughs> added Henry, coughing. Could you bring up the TV just in case my head stops hurting long enough for me to watch? Of course, said Mum. Boy, this was great. And I have to stop there, but click straight on to finish the story.